Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can configure Easter S100 for SIP trunk configuration. This is the rear view of my Easter S100. And this is how my lab is connected. I am getting SIP trunk connection from my ISP and this is the IP address which I have configured on my side and this is the gateway. And my LAN port is configured with the DHCP and this is the default IP which I have configured here and my, I, my IP phone and laptop is connected on a same switch. So let's jump in. Uh, I have accessed it with IP 0.2 as I have mentioned in the diagram 0.2 is the LAN IP and I have configured my IP. Let me show you on my laptop. 0.5 is my IP address. So I'm able to communicate. First of all, you need to check if you are able to ping this device then as my communication is there. So I'm able to reach from this laptop via switch to this device. So I have access this device. I am just going to log in with the default settings. So first of all, I'll show you what need to be configured first as I have configured a LAN IP. Now I need to show you how you can configure the van. This option will be gray if you did not set the mode. So there are different modes. So you need to configure dual mode. So then a van option will be visible. So here you need to specify your van address, static IP address. And the gateway is 10.1 as per your ISP, whatever is configured over there. So you need to specify this van IP. So once it is done, you need to register your extension. So in the extension, as I have configured 101 and 102, it's quite simple. If you are going to add bulk extension, just click on bulk add. And here you need to start the extension. And here you have to specify number of extension, how many extension you want to register. So let's say five extension. It will start from 103 to 107, right? So after that, This is the extension group. So it would be better if you can create an extension group called all extensions and move all these extensions into this group. So later on, it would be easy for you to call these extension for upcoming settings. So let me have a look. So these are some default extensions configured. So So this is the default randomly generated password. So now what we need to do is we need to configure trunks. So as, as I said, I'm going to configure a SIP trunk and IP address I have already configured. So let's have a look at the parameter what need to be configured here. So for the SIP trunk, I just give it a name SIP and trunk type is peer. The host IP is 10.1 is the gateway or the ISP IP address. The port number will be the same. And these are the codecs which we have to use. And the DID range, this is the IP address which we have to test. Not the IP address, it's a telephone number which we have to test. Uh, let me write it down and you have to associate the extension. If you did not associate extensions, uh, any extension, then your call will not be landed. Either you have to select all extension group or if you are testing for one extension, just select that extension. After that, need to click confirm, save and apply the changes. Okay, so let me Okay, just we'll keep it here for a while. So let's see if our SIP trunk is configured. So what you need to do is you need to go to settings. Not in the settings and this menu, then monitor. Under monitor, here you can see one of my extension is registered here. And you need to check the trunk status. This is my SIP trunk as it is connected. And here you can see. 
the check box it means the communication is there so after that we need to check our call flow settings so in call control this is inbound rule i just click add inbound rule just give it a name did pad friend and just move the respective service which you are going to test in my case it is sip so you just need to move it here else you can move all as well so it's complete to your choice and then from here you need to select the extension and you have to associate a particular extension on which you want to, to test the service so i have already configured so let me show you the existing configuration yeah this is for incoming call and this is the DID pattern let me show you the name is incoming this is DID pattern and i am using for sip just move it upside it is not really mandatory but if you can do it it would be great and here i have selected extension as there are so many things but you need to select extension and the port number and similarly for out outbound route I'm going to edit these settings. So outbound, then digit, then press type dot x dot anything dot. And again, I am using these two services which I am going to test now. And here I have moved these two extension, or you can move all groups. Uh, not in this way. Uh, this one select all extension. So it means whatever is there it is already reflected here inside the group because we have configured call group otherwise you can select specific extension as well it's completely up to you then rest thing will be same and likewise for if you are dialing specific pattern for outbound call or your isp has suggested you have to dial prefix as a nine to in order to dial outbound call so you have to specify these settings right and the trunk member is SIP and E1, but right now I'm selecting SIP because my SIP is connected. And here you can add all extension group or the particular extension, whatever you are going to configure. All right. So far, no restriction, no SLA, nothing is configured. Time. Anyway, we can you can change it later on. This is it what we need to configure on on the pbx in order to test the calls so now this is time to test the call now so let me dial this number i'm dialing it from my mobile phone triple four zero nine one one two So might be you can hear it's ringing now. I have a physical phone, so that is why I am testing over there. But uh, let me try with the soft phone as well. So in order to test the soft phone, what you need to do is you need to go to extensions and uh, this extension, just click on edit and here is the registration name and the password. Right. So let me log in again on different browser. Let me try if it works. Otherwise, if you don't have physical phone, then we can try it with with the soft phone as well. Eight zero double eight is the port number, and here I am going to type one zero one, and let me check the password. So just click on Edit Extension, and from here you can copy the password by clicking on this uh, eyebrow button. So let me paste the password here. So this is my phone now. So let me dial this number again. So 
so far no address which is there but anyway the calls are working fine so if you don't have a physical phone you can test through the virtual phone but you need to install the virtual phone as well but so far uh my call is working so let me share my screen so that you can see let's view So this is my phone, so I'm going to dial. So it is ringing. Let me answer the call. So my call is connected. So as you can see, now I'm getting incoming call as well. So it means our ship trunk is working fine. So if I answer the call, so I am able to dial it. All right. So this is it for now. Stay tuned. Keep watching. See you in next video.